Having a good mic locker can give you the tools you need to get professional and amazing recordings. But there are so many good choices of microphones out there that you can get quite easy overwhelmed. So the question now is, which microphone should I choose next? Hi, my name is Jave and welcome back to the channel. On today's video, we're gonna talk about on how to build a good mic locker. Rather than me telling you this microphone or this microphone is really good, I'm gonna give you some tips on what to look for so you can take an educated decision on which microphone should you get next. The first question you need to answer is why? Why do you need another microphone? What instruments are you trying to record next? You can view having different microphones as having different colors or different flavors. Some microphones are brighter than others and some microphones are darker than others. So you will need different microphones for different situations. Now, I know many of you don't have the option to just go to a store and try as many microphones as you want. I don't have that option either, but luckily we have many great reviews here in YouTube of pretty much whichever microphone you're looking for. So you can hear that microphone and compare it with other options. Answering this question is probably the most important thing you need to do whenever you're buying audio gear. Gear can get so expensive and buying something that you don't really need at that moment can be regretful. So take your time and think about what you really need at that moment. Another very important thing to consider is the environment around you. Do you live in front of a main avenue in a busy city or do you live by the woods where the only noise you can hear is the noise of the wind? Do you have roof treatment or not? All of these factors can change dramatically how a microphone performs and it is important that you understand how the environment around you behaves. Having a $1,000 microphone will not help you that much if your room is very noisy. So please take note of all of these factors. Now let's get into some specific details about microphones. The first thing you need to know is that there are two types, dynamic and condenser mics. The difference lies in how the capsule of the microphone is built. The function of the capsule is to convert the sound it captures into electrical signal. To avoid making this video extensively long, I will have another video explaining how each type of microphone is built. But for now, you need to know that dynamic microphones sound much darker and often need much more gain than condensers, while condensers sound much brighter and capture more details of the signal. Also, it's worth mentioning that condenser mics are much more sensitive. This means that they will capture more room noise and it can capture even noise outside your room like construction noise or traffic noise. All of that good, good stuff that you want in your recordings. Another important specification you need to know about is the frequency response of the microphone. This is a little chart that will tell you how the microphone behaves around a certain range of frequencies. Most of the microphones will have a frequency response range of 20 Hz to 20 kHz, which actually is the human ear range. And some of the microphones, depending on their components and how they are built, will have coloration between those range of frequencies. The next important specification you need to look for is what's called polar pattern. The polar pattern will tell you how the microphone picks up the signal in relation with the source direction. I will explain this with an example. The most common polar pattern there is, is the cardioid pattern. As you can see on this graph, with the cardioid pattern, the microphone will pick up the most of the signal at the front of the capsule, while it will reject the most of the signal at the rear of the capsule. Now I'm gonna show you a quick demonstration of how the cardioid polar pattern works on this particular microphone. Now I'm gonna talk while I rotate the microphone, so now you are hearing the side of this microphone. You are gonna hear a little coloration then if I keep talking, well, I rotate the microphone, now I'm on the rear, so you should hear the rejection of the polar pattern. Then I'm gonna keep talking while I'm rotating. Now I'm on the other side of the microphone. And I'm keep talking, and now I'm the front of the microphone once again. Including cardioid, there are four more polar patterns that you need to be aware of. Hypercardioid and supercardioid which are some variations of the cardioid pattern, omnidirectional, which means that the microphone will capture the same signal from all directions, and 
bidirectional or figure of eight, which means that the capsule will capture the same signal from the front and the rear, and it will reject some of the signal from the sides. The next specification is the self noise. This is the noise the electronics on the microphone will generate by nature, and there is no way around that. Depending on the build quality and the components, each microphone will have their own level of self noise. Most of the time this noise is not an issue, but there are some cases that depending on the gain you need to put on the microphone, this noise may be noticeable. Another minor specifications are DV pads and low cuts. A DV pad is simply a volume reduction of the overall gain that usually goes around 10 dB or 20 dB. A low cut is also a dB reduction, but it's in a form of a curve and it will start at some frequency in the lowest spectrum of the frequency range. At the end of the day, the most important thing is how the microphone sounds in the environment you are recording in. There are so many videos on the internet that can show you how a specific microphone sounds on a specific environment recording any kind of source. So as long as you can answer the question of why do you need this or that microphone, you should be able to build a great mic locker. And that is the end of the video. If you guys are still here, thanks so much for watching. And if you found this content useful, please subscribe to the channel, that would help me a ton. Also, you have recommendations for future videos, leave a comment in the comment section below, I would really appreciate that. I hope you have a beautiful day and see you in the next one.